day has finally come. We got our first teaser trailer for Deadpool 3. Dropped right during the Super Bowl. Premiering during the Super Bowl. Uh, so, I'm excited to check out this trailer. Cannot wait for it. Let's take a look at it. Happy birthday. Mm, it's his birthday. <laughs> That's a bad way to TK, whatever that is. Got all these characters here. Years, for sure. But I'm happy. That is because of each and every one of you. I am the luckiest man alive. <laughs> Make a wish, buddy. Oh, who's at the door? Wait, Wilson? Who's asking? Oh, shit, it's the TVA. Oh. To be scary. Pegging isn't new for me, friend. <laughs> but it is for Disney. <laughs> the fourth wall break, man. Taking off that bad toupee there. Oh my Mr. Wilson. goodness, man! He's inside the TVA. While unconscious. I wasn't unconscious. Who are you? <laughs> Why am I here? Holy shit! Walk with me. It's happening. It's happening. Wait. Special. This is your chance to be a hero among heroes. Oh yes, he's coming, man. He's coming. Smell what you're coming to the MCU. Sense. Your little cinematic universe is about to change forever. Mm. Wait, was that Patch? I. Wolverine variant. Marvel Jesus. <laughs> Marvel Jesus. Ah oh, shit, new suit. I like these clips like this. <laughs> oh shit, this is definitely gonna be funny. Fox 20th Century logo? Oh shit, that is smooth right there. Holy shit. What is that? I kinda look like life. Oh my god, this is gonna be so awesome. Holy shit, it was that pyro! The action looks like it's gonna be so good in this. Bloody. Oh my goodness, is this where you get him? This is where we get him? This is where we get him? Oh shit! Don't just stand there, you ape. Give me a hand up. <laughs> yes! No, I'm actually okay, thank you very much. Aw, <laughs> oh, they didn't show him all the way. Just a little tease. Oh, Deadpool and Wolverine. Official title. <laughs> uh, it's funny how it says this film is not yet rated. <laughs> All right, all right. <laughs> so we finally got the teaser trailer for Deadpool 3. Ah, oh, man, I can't wait for this movie. I'm so excited for this movie. Oh, I'm touching myself tonight. Like I said before, this movie is one of my, it's probably the most anticipated movie of the year for me. I cannot wait for this movie. I'm so excited for it. Oh my goodness. Man, so a lot of theories were going around how this movie could probably involve the TVA due to like, you know, if you remember Deadpool 2, he was doing some time traveling shenanigans and stuff when he took um, Cable's uh, wristwatch, whatever, time travel device. Um, so there was a lot of theories going around how TVA might be involved in this new Deadpool movie. And theories are right. We're getting the TVA to connect us to that MCU. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, so... That's pretty much what it seems like is going to happen. He was doing his timeline shenanigans, time travel shenanigans. TVA caught notice and they are bringing him in. Now, I think that it's a possibility that they sort of recruit him. In a way, they look like it. You know, they're saying how you're ready to join a world of heroes and stuff. And, you know, they're showing our uh, familiar MCU heroes on screen. Um, so I think it's a possibility they could recruit him to uh probably fix some stuff maybe you know pay for his uh his bad deeds you know possibly and maybe just fix some mcu timeline stuff maybe possibly you know some stuff here and there they could do to fix the timeline maybe something went wrong or something like that i don't know uh but it'll be very very interesting especially if it's like this sort of buddy road trip that he's going to be going on with uh wolverine if that's it in fact what it is going to be like that would be very fun and interesting um, there's been a lot of uh, uh, speculation on who the villain is, and it looked like we got a hint of the villain. Uh, Y'all saw like the bald head and uh, pointy ears, a back shot from um, a character in there in the trailer. Uh, very much people were saying that it's possibly, most likely, Cassandra Nova, 
which is uh, Xavier's twin sister. And for those of y'all that, that, know, that don't know about her, uh, like I said, Xavier's twin sister, basically when they were in the womb, they were, uh, he sensed the evil within her and tried to, you know, take her out and stuff. But he didn't really get to finish the job and she basically was still alive, but uh, um, kind of deformed and stuff like that. But basically, she seeks out revenge on Xavier, you know, for doing that to her and stuff like that. So, very possibility, very possible that we could get an Xavier cameo or, uh, you know, Patrick Stewart come back and be a uh, be in this movie as a cameo or make an appearance or something like that. So, very possible that that could happen if it's, uh, you know, if we're getting the villain of Cassandra Nova. So, very big possibility of that. Uh, 20th Century logo Fox, uh, the Fox logo was in the background one of the shots um one of those cool shots i gotta say um yeah and that was a uh, you know a set photo leak that happened we've seen this uh seen that already before and basically the theory is that a lot of this stuff is going to be taking place in the void and it very much very much looks like it could be taking place in the void you saw different um things we saw like of course we saw the 20th century fox logo um there were different other things in there vehicles and things like that that we uh saw in there um there's a we go cloud of smoke, smoke looking cloud, whatever that came in, snatched the guy. Very much looks like it could be a life. Uh, for those of y'all that remember a life from the Loki series, uh, he basically guards over the void. You know, going off the color, the shade of color, and just how it looks really quick, the quick shot that we got of it, where it looked like, you know, a cloudish smoke, smokish cloud, whatever, you know, thing, uh, with the shade of the purplish going on. Uh, very much could be alive if it does in fact take place in a void so it very much could be alive that that uh, that thing was um, you know got a pyro cameo can you believe it? a pyro cameo you know for those of you that remember pyro from x2 and x3 movies back in the 2000s uh, that is crazy um, shocking in a way also that I honestly wasn't even expecting him or anything like that to show up but the fact that they put it into a teaser definitely means that he's going to be in the movie and make an appearance uh maybe it'll be a small appearance i don't know he'll be like a full-on lasting appearance in the movie but it could be a small appearance in the movie um be one of the people that they have to take down or be one of the side villains or something like that maybe possibly who knows we'll see what goes on with that but this kind of a shocking review uh reveal that they did that and then when we get one of those shots there well, Deadpool was walking, and it looked like he was going to walk up to somebody, and we get, like, the back shot of who it was. Um, of course, it has to be Wolverine, but my thing, uh, my uh, thought on this is that it's probably Patch. It could possibly be Patch, and going off of, uh, you know, of course, you saw the back shot of him, saw the hair shape. Of course, it's very Wolverine-like, and it looked like he was wearing a white suit, so my first thought our first initial thought was that that is possibly Patch. And those, for those of you that don't know who I'm talking about, Patch is basically Wolverine. Uh, and he's in Magipur and, you know, takes on this persona and basically wears an eye patch. You know, the most common thing that he wears is the eye patch, of course. And he wears a white suit. And very much so, that could definitely be Patch. That's my initial thought. My first thought is that that's possibly Patch. And it'll be funny if they did this, I don't know if they will do this, but it'd be funny if they did this. We know that variants can be played by different actors. Of course, we've seen it in the Loki series, where Loki is Loki variants are played by different actors. Seen it in No Way Home, where we had the different Spider-Man actors come together. So, I don't know if they'll do it, but it's very uh, definitely a possibility they could do a variant that patches a variant of Wolverine, actually actually being played by a different actor. And what if they get one of those actors that's always been rumored, that's always been uh, in the headlines for being possibly the next Wolverine, like Taron Edgerton or Daniel Radcliffe. That would be funny. If we get them as a Wolverine variant and it happens to be a patch, that would be so funny. Uh, that would be crazy and insane. That would be funny just to see that uh, be a big surprise and all that stuff in there. That would be so funny. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I like what this teaser trailer was able to give us, you know, not really giving us, giving us too much or giving, really giving uh, anything really away, you know, getting some things going on where, you know, Deadpool gets taken by the TVA, it looks like they're trying to recruit him for something, uh, get little flashes, we didn't even get a full image of Wolverine yet, 
uh, just a small cameo there, just a couple little teases here and there and stuff like that. So hopefully they're able to save some surprises, you know, especially when it comes to like cameos and appearances and stuff like that. Hopefully they're able to save those surprises for the movie. I don't really want to see anything else in the trailers. Maybe give us, of course, a full image of Hugh Jackman as Wolverine in one quick shot or something like that. But other than that, I don't really want any more cameos shown or anything like that. I, want, I still want some surprises for the movie and I still want to be surprised during the movie to be able to see those different cameos or appearances or whoever come, happens to come in. I just want those to be surprises. I don't want them spoiled in the trailer or anything like that. So hopefully they're able to do that and not give us too much. Just give us little hints and teases. That's it. That's all we need. And so we can still have the big surprises for the movie whenever it comes out. I'm so excited for this movie. I cannot wait for it. Uh, like I said, this is my most anticipated movie of the year. Uh, this is the only MCU movie that we have coming out this year. Um, so this is going to be a big one. It's going to be a big one. Um, you know, a lot of people are saying how Deadpool 3 or how they give us the official title now, Deadpool and Wolverine, could come in and be able to somewhat save the MCU. You know, they're calling it that. <laughs> and the trailer very much plays into that a little bit when, you know, they hear calling him the Messiah. And he called him, he called himself uh, Marvel Jesus. <laughs> uh, so they could kind of be playing into that as a joke and all. But I'm excited for this movie. Cannot wait for it. Like I said, this is my most anticipated movie of the year. Man, it just sucks that we have to wait till July uh, to see this movie. And I can't wait for this movie. Like, I'm excited for this movie. I can't wait for it. Uh, it's it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. It looks like it's going to be some great action. Bloody. Radar. Mature. Um, all those things I like about Deadpool movie. This is this is definitely some early, good early signs that this Deadpool movie can be like the rest of the movies. Uh, and be able to like they could it looks like they could also honestly be able to give us a true Deadpool movie You know, we'll see how it actually goes in when it wants to hit theaters But going off the trailer it looks like it could be one of those true Deadpool movies, which I like like I love the first two Deadpool movies So hopefully it's along the lines of those ones and be as good if not better um, but Yeah, I'm excited for this movie can't wait for it definitely gonna be looking forward to it once it hits theaters in July I'm there opening weekend cannot wait for it but let me know down in the comments below if you're excited for this movie as much as me. But that's going to do for this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe and turn notifications on so you know I post another video. Hope you all have an awesome day. And I will see you all in the next one.